I wouldn't be where I am right now if it wasn't for like the support of my family and especially my older brother. He's literally my biggest, like my biggest fan and my biggest supporter. So just like I send him videos like when I'm learning stuff and he gets so excited and just like having a family like behind you is like, it's huge. Without them, uh, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have uh, started competing or, or anything. Like they took me to a lot of the contest and, and the park and stuff um, when I was younger and couldn't drive. And yeah, they, I mean, they're always there. So even, even like having like a BMX family, like Team USA, like, um, you know, if, if we need help, then we just text somebody and they'll give us advice or everything. And, and just having like some sort of family is, is like, that's, that's your whole support system. That's the only way you'll find support is to make a family out of the people that you ride against and, and to have the support from your actual family. So, yeah, it's So we're pretty lucky. <laughs> so we're pretty lucky. Oh, yeah. When I came on trips the last few years, I, I legit just sat, I like rode, and then I went back to my room and I did homework. Homework, homework, and then uh, hopefully I was watch like, cartoons. Yeah, well, I watch cartoons too. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's it's hard, but um, I really like BMX, and and um, I mean, I just graduated school, so uh, right now BMX is my personal life, and and it's what I it's what I personally love to do, and and that's where all my friends are really. So um, yeah, now now I don't even have to try to mix the two; they they go together. <laughs> This is all I wanted to do like as a kid was just ride my bike and travel and I get to do both and I mean I literally it, I can't complain. I just love seeing new places. I love trying new coffee shops everywhere I go. <laughs> so I asked about the coffee. There's, there's some times where BMX is definitely stressful and like especially getting ready uh, for 2020 it's just like there's a lot of pressure but just like traveling and, and getting somewhere new is like it's like a reset button for every time that you're really stressed out. and I, it's really enjoyable. We don't really ride together out, like we live on other sides of the country, so um, we don't ride together very often, but when we do, it's always like a progression session. We always try to push each other to the best, but um, Paris has like really, really like strong sides of her riding, and I can't compete with those. And then like there's some things where, like I have some strong sides that she can't compete with, and it's like that, but we always like we always try to push each other for the better. So it's not really like a contest, but it's always just trying to just trying to help each other out to that next step. Yeah, there's competition and stuff between us, but it's I don't know, it's like motivating. We want to see each other progress and I think at the end of the day like to some of us like that's more important. Being on podium with your friends. I, mean, I know it was great. Like I don't know, it was just looking and seeing both of them like it's just and even that like it motivates us to continue to like progress and like on and off the bike too like I don't know we've all grown so much like individually having the team be so close as we are like it's I mean we I mean we all like hung out last night in my room for like a few hours and yeah it was it's just like having somebody there that understands but at the same time wants the exact same thing you do like mm -hmm. we're not really competitors until we step on the course like other than that we're just like Pretty. We're all friends that ride bikes together. I really haven't thought about the Olympics, like going to Tokyo, because like, one, it's terrifying, like it's so scary. And two, it's just like such a long process, like, um, you know, changing the way we eat, changing like the way we work out, the way we ride, like, and then like, not only that, but like mentally getting stronger for contests like this, so we, we don't crack under the pressure. As long as, as long as I still have fun riding my bike, like if the pressure is just too much, then that's just something that can't happen. Um, Cause you know, BMX and action sports in general, or sports in general is, is, is never supposed to like only be about competition. It's always supposed to be about like having fun and doing what you love. We've been told like people like look up to us and- I look up to her. She doesn't believe me. I actually do. I okay. When I I'll be I'll be honest because like you know we're having coffee. <laughs> uh, when I was when I was younger before I met her, I um I used to watch like all of Angie's Nikita's and then you came out with your edit and I just watched it and I binged watched it Aww. over and over and over again and I I could almost name every everything that she did in the edit and then I met her and I was just like, 
<laughs> oh, you're funny. You're funny. I was just like, wow. And and then like now that I get to ride against her, it's like a dream. So I mean, I really hope that people look up to me the way I looked up to her and to Angie and to all the other girls. But um, yeah, I mean, you get those people that say that they do, but sometimes I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I hope that we are and we're directing in the little youngsters in the right direction and just sharing my passion of the sport with other people. I like to help like younger generation, like the kids that um, ride at my local skate park, like they ask me questions and I'll like, I'll waste away a session just trying to explain how to do a trick and hopefully they land it and if not, then we'll come back tomorrow and do it. And I mean, I, I just enjoy seeing other people like to ride. So if I, I just love, yeah, I'd, I'd become a, I'd become a Ryan Nyquist, I'd become a coach. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> the biggest win of my career um, at the time and I'm pretty sure it still is mm -hmm. but yeah I mean for me it, it was like I was naive and I kind of didn't realize what the colors meant until like I won and then everybody was like telling me like and and it was like a big deal and then it finally like hit me and then um, yeah I mean it's it's a good contest and I'm glad that you won really thanks it's it's a, it's great to share this with you too. Waiting for like the score, it's always so stressful, like waiting for your score, <laughs> and it takes so long. And mine, it felt like it took forever, like to even for it to pop up on the board. And I I remember like hearing people say it, it comes up on the board over there first, and I'm just like sitting there like just super stoked that I pulled the run, and then didn't even know like. I didn't know what to expect, obviously, for the score. But my score came back, and I think it was like a 93. And I that literally, like, I cried. I, like, Angie, everyone came and, like, hugged me, and, I, like, I was, like, crying in Angie's shoulder. <laughs> and then, I don't know, it was just so many emotions, and, like, it all, I don't know. It was, like, I can't really even describe it. It was just emotional, super emotional, and then getting the jersey, like, put on me and the medal, and sharing the podium with them, like, at my first, like, world championship, and, like, winning was just an honor, and to be able to experience that, everything that I experienced with them by my side, and, like, the whole USA Cycling, like, team and, like, family being there, it's just, like, it wasn't like anything else. I was super stressed out waiting for the score, but it averaged out um, just like like a point or two over Laura, and my heart was just like racing. And then it was just like it was like everybody was like hugging me, and like I was like like it didn't really hit me until like I went mm -hmm. home. And um, you know when I got home, my dad wanted to my dad wanted to frame the jersey and the medal, um, so it's like framed. It's hanging in our living room, but like. At the time, I was just like, wow, I won a contest. And then, like, going home, like, I was just like, I won the world championships. Yeah. Like, it, it hits you when when you're not there. But, like, yeah, it was like, to be able to win the first one, it was like all the work that I was putting in throughout the years and all the dedication and all the time that I was spent on my bike, I was just like, wow, it really paid off. And it was, it was incredible. I, I really, it's just like a feeling, like... I don't, still to this day, I haven't, I don't know that I've had the full, like, realization of what exactly. Oh, you'll get it. Like, what, what we've accomplished. And, I don't know, every time I put the jersey on, it's just, like, a sense of, like, pride and just, I'm so proud of it and just so happy to represent it. To see my teammate wearing it, it shows so much, I just, like, have so much pride in, like, not just her, but my country, like, you know, it's it's really, yeah, I mean, it's unlike anything I've ever experienced.